to South Australia. We left our boat oh, probably about a, a month, month ago, ago now. Month, yeah. So since then we have been seeing family, we've kind of been flying all over the place, spent some time in London with Nick's family and now we are here in Australia for Christmas. So we historically haven't filmed much of our time kind of away from the boat. We've uh, stuck to just filming our sailing adventures, but we really wanted to show you a little bit of our, the other side of our lives, um, what we do when we're not sailing. Look, <clears throat> it's easy for you because you're an Australian <laughs> and you grew up with us. Yeah. So I think for, for me, I always like looking at things through the eyes of a foreigner or a, a tourist, so to speak. I mean, we've been here, I've been here 10, 12 times. But it's still, it is mind-blowing. I think I probably used the word, expression mind-blowing a lot in our episodes. But I think that the scenery Hang on, here... you've got an ant. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Australia. You think about that ant is, it won't just call over me, it'll beat the living shit out of me, poison me, and then I'll end up in a coma for three years. It's actually really small, I was surprised. Yeah, I know, and yeah. They, yeah, they sting your head and all of a yeah, sudden yeah. your ear falls off. Carry on. Anyway, Australia is visually stunning. It, the, apart from the fact that 99% of anything that moves can kill you <laughs> uh, or paralyze you. I do, and I've said this to Therese, i said this to Therese a lot, I've said it for years, I think that the average Australian takes this for granted in the same way that coming from London we probably take all the history and the buildings and the kind of architecture and the mm. culture for granted because yeah. it's just there. You know, this is visually spectacular. The climate is fantastic in South Australia especially. The people are friendly. I mean, even the customs officers, when they're searching your bags, they're doing it with a smile. This, anyway. for me, this is, uh, just to get back to where we are, this is uh, Elliot, uh, Port Elliot Middleton Point, which uh, is here in South Australia, linked to map. It's a surf resort, it's a holiday resort. It's about an hour and a half from your parents' place. Yeah. And if I wanted to retire somewhere, I think this would be high on the list of contenders because it has everything. It is absolutely like we have a new, yeah, we're going to show you right now just how beautiful it is because um, it's pretty special. This is going to sound a bit weird, but Australians have got this thing about bakeries, not like the bakeries that I found in the US or France or even the UK. They just do these they did incredible things with pies. That sounds a bit weird, but when I come surfing here, it's where I always go afterwards for my pie. So I'm gonna head for a quick morning pie, and then once I've had the pie, we're gonna show you this beautiful Australian town. It's pretty windy today. And I've managed to lose Nick. Oh, there he is. So yeah, pretty breezy down here on the coast, but it is absolutely spectacular. I have to say, moments like this, I'm so proud of the country that I come from because it really is just beautiful. And you know, Port Elliot is lovely, but it, uh, there's places like this all over the country, everywhere, everywhere you turn, it, you know, you get you know these kind of crazy beaches. Beautiful. I do love my country. Mistakes crashed and burned so many chances, no time to learn. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, it's just the natural beauty of Australia never fails to stop me. I won't be coming back again. Second time, that is the cold seawater of my childhood, right there. I see everything you've done. So this beach behind me is where we used to come down to do our surf life saving carnival sometimes. So when I was a kid I did surf life saving like a lot of Australian kids and uh, yeah every weekend we'd have a competition and I was never particularly good but the kind of beautiful scenery made up for it because we got a chance to visit all these amazing beaches in South Australia. If you, I don't, can you see the yeah. beach itself? Yeah, there's people out swimming, kids out there on their boards, and uh, 
yeah, just having fun and it's a beautiful, beautiful swimming beach. So if you happen to be in South Australia and you want to go for a beautiful day on the beach, then put Elliot's in place. So here we are. We've uh, come down to one of the southern beaches of Adelaide. Selix Beach this is. And we're going to go for a lovely swim, aren't we, Nicholas? Yes, my little chicken pie. It's time to get my kit off. <laughs> Nick's afraid of the cold water. I'm not afraid of it, I just don't want my... Don't want your what? My sac magique shrinking like a couple of magical raisins. Sac magique, is that what we're calling it now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Nick told me I wasn't allowed to drive the car onto the beach because it wasn't four wheel drive, but there's like every single car imaginable on this beach. You always do this. I'm trying to take a nice panning shot and you just come and stand in front of me. It is the Great Southern Ocean. Like if you swim that way, the next land mass is Antarctica, right? Yeah, I think you might have to, yeah, swim around in Kangaroo Island, but yeah. yeah it, apart from Kangaroo Island. It is chilly. It I'm is. not going to lie, it's, it's chilly. It's refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is a little bit cold. I admit, it's a little bit cold. Welcome to South Australia. We've got cold water. It's the Southern Ocean. What do you want? It was not cold at all. You said it was cold like 20 it's, seconds. Yeah, you just need to get used to it. Ridiculed. Your manliness will be called into question. <laughs> what about the nice little pool there? That's like the, the kiddie pool. I don't want to go in the kiddie pool, it's f***ing freezing. No, the kiddie pool's nice, that's why it's there. Uh, I've passed through what you've called the kiddie pool before. And I look like a f***ing giraffe, my nuts are so high in my head. <laughs> A lot of people ask me, what is Christmas like in Australia? Obviously, Christmas in Australia takes place in the middle of summer, so we don't have any white Christmases, but that doesn't mean that we can't be traditional. So for us, step one is going to the local produce market and picking up some fresh fruit and veg for Christmas Day. How you going? I'm good. I love the, uh, the melting pot of uh, culture that these markets are. Yeah, it's, it's just lovely. really nice to see. Sunday morning, it's like, I don't think you hear a lot of English being spoken. Step two is going to the Barossa Valley, which is very close to where we live. They have some amazing wines, amazing produce, and frankly, it's just a really nice day out. All right, so here we are in the Barossa Valley. Uh, the Brossa is a world famous wine destination just north of Adelaide. Beautiful wines, beautiful scenery and they have a lot of, uh, they grow a lot of really gorgeous stone fruit and oranges and produce in general and yeah it's just a really cool place for a little um, day trip out of Adelaide. It's also three days before Christmas as you can see from the snow <laughs> and, and the ice that is now falling in sheets. This is around. how we do Christmas in Australia. So three days before Christmas uh, it is a good opportunity for us to go and source some wines, some local produce, yeah. and it's kind of it's a nice thing to do. Obviously, you pay like more here for your wines uh, than you would going to the local bottle shop. But um, oh yeah, yes and no. But it's a nice thing to do. Yeah. So you know, you come out a Saturday, you know, have a picnic. We've got a picnic in the car, and you get to see all these vineyards. So the weather's beautiful. The climate here is really nice. It's not humid yeah. at all. It's about probably 28, 29 degrees today. So that's kind of like high 80s, but not super humid there we're not plagued by flies so you know that is one of the things that I do love about South Australia anyway I've been coming here now for 10 years with you mm. you can you know half an hour drive out the city you've got all this and you know when you've got an occasion like for Christmas yeah. we can just go and buy wine so we'll go into the wine winery the cellar door as they call it yeah pick up some bottles for Christmas and then that will kind of obviously ease us into the celebrations it won't will. It? Yep. so let's uh, let's go and look at some wines Pheasants first. 
Oh, is this, uh, this the place? Yeah, this is the place. Am I going to like it? Am I going to like it? Am I going to like it? It's a sort of camera, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. I could spoon that into my face until I just went down with the diabetes. Second panel. I see olive oil and dukkha. It's good, isn't it? So good. Kelly's getting one of those. Yeah. Step three Nick cannot have Christmas without his trifle, so he makes that on the 24th and we enjoy it on Christmas Eve night. And I don't know what your family is like, but for us, Christmas would not be complete without a queen sing along. Of all things, and yes, this did take place after several glasses of that wine I mentioned. Is it me or am I just, am I like, have I been inhaling the eucalyptus or these clouds just amazing? We left Adelaide, we've driven about three and a half hours. Uh, this place is called Marion Bay, it's on the York Peninsula. It's a, just at the beginning of the Innes National Park. Is it John? Yes, I'm just remembering all those things. <laughs> As I see it written down on my hand in Biro. Uh, so, so this is where I grew up, coming for like all the school holidays in a year that we had. We, can, we always came to Marion Bay for every single school holidays. This, there's really good surf around here. My dad's a surfer. So this is where we came. Um, so yeah, I kind of grew up here. I'm not going to put my head under water. You're not going to? Damn, no, of course not. If it's freezing cold. Look at all those kids out there. In wetsuits. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so someone's brave, isn't it? <laughs> someone's been giving me the isn't it, is, it warm? It is isn't really it icing. lovely and warm? It's a southern bloody ocean, it's freezing. Oh, look at that. Look at girl surfing. Oh. Well, so you well, lasted. All right. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning part of the world, Anna. And this is the thing, and I said this when we went down to Port Elliot, that, you know, we travel all around the world, and we mainly go to beaches when we travel, and we're often kind of ooing and aahing over all these beaches in other countries, and they are beautiful, but I reckon Australian beaches, and yes, I'm biased, are the best beaches in the world, in the whole wide world. Never seen better. I think over the next couple of days, we're going to show you some pretty beautiful beaches that really are going to blow your mind just a little bit. Although I kind of also want to keep this place a secret because like there's loads of people here already as you can see <laughs> and as you can see on this side as well like the beaches. This is busy for a, a South Australian beach and uh, yeah I don't really want it to get any busier. But that's just me being selfish. Good morning everyone. We've just woken up in our tent we are camping slash glamping. Where does camping end and glamping begin? I would say that this is firmly in the realms of camping, babe. Not, really not glamping? I, think, I don't really think the addition of a light turns it into glamping, do you? I feel like this tent is extremely comfortable. It is extremely comfortable, but it's not meant to be like torture. But I think glamping involves like a fridge. I feel like I'm lying on a cloud. Yeah, my back feels like I'm lying on a back. railroad track. <laughs> My back also suffering. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway, whatever. So it's uh, first thing in the morning. We've just had our coffee and we are 
I think planning a day, or oh, my father has planned us a day. Oh shit, you didn't tell me that. What's he planned? We're going to Pondy. Is he surfing? To be determined. I don't know, but we're going to Pondy. I'm not surfing. We're going to Pondalawi Beach. Everything seems out of place this morning is an ordinary face. Gonna take a quick look at Ethel's Beach. Look at this. Spectacular. It is absolutely spectacular. Do you remember last time we were here and like the wind was insane? Like oh, we could barely walk yeah, down yeah, the pathway. Yeah. I guess Teresa's right. We do get really spoiled with uh, all the beaches and the views that we see as we kind of head around the world. But this stuff is just divine. which is uh, where I spent a good portion of my childhood predominantly in this shore break here hang on, where are we? just in here getting absolutely pummeled by the swell and then the surf break is just behind me um, the swell's not very big today but um, they're still getting some good waves and my dad is just getting into his wetsuit and he's going to be paddling out in a minute so hopefully he gets a couple of good waves as well so it's a nice place to be, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Someone made me drink gin and vodka and whiskey last night in succession. I feel a little bit tender. Yes. 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 Well, nothing will sober you up or, or cure a hangover quite like a, a dip in icy cold Southern Ocean. Yeah, I know. It's it's, it's deceiving. <laughs> it looks so inviting, but compared to the Caribbean Sea, which was like sometimes like 32, 33 degrees Celsius, this is what eight? No. Ten. Fifteen. Yeah, it's crazy. I reckon I'm gonna go in and get wet in a minute as well. It's pretty big. <laughs> it's hard to get past the, uh, the short break. It's beautiful, but it's just a bit like intense. Yeah, it's just cold. That could be us. <laughs> yeah, trees, go in there. One big dumping wave. Get enough? So one rash vest later, one boogie board later. There's no way I'm surfing in this, it's too big and I've got messed up so many times. Surfing this break or attempting to surf this break, I may add. Anyways, it is an absolutely stunning day here. And uh, yeah, whereas everyone and all my friends in the UK are going to fuck up and hunt the fire, eating with pies, this is New Year. Australian style. God, high, I'm high on you, and I won't let you pass me by. You got me close, try to breathe, you know I want you for my own. You stuck inside, inside my mind.
Absolutely. It's not exactly surfing. No, but it's having fun in the water. It's a good way of curing a hangover. Absolutely. But my feet are actually numb right now, so the water is quite cold. How is your surf? I saw you stand up. I got stood up twice. That's good. I got stood up. <laughs> uh, yeah, one I got to my feet really well, but the wave shut down, and the other one was a bit of a, you know, up, up so daisy. Up so daisy. <laughs> well, I saw I, I saw the first wave that you got, and you didn't get to your feet, no, and then no, I didn't. I didn't want. To, I couldn't. Nah. No. And I didn't Nick. want to. Yeah. You know, I just want to get the feel of yeah. catching the wave. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to we can leave and run away Someday Someday Yeah, <laughs> 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 